Here we have a very simple linear function. The graph of this function is a little straight line. It's made up of points. So the points have x and y coordinates. And if we want to find points uh, that are on this line, we can use this linear function, this formula, uh, by subbing in different values. So for example, if x is equal to 2, we can figure out that the y-coordinate is 3. And we can do this for any of the points that are on the line. You can think of it as giving an input of 2.6 and getting an output of 4.2. Another way that we could write this linear function is using function notation. So this says f of x equals 2x minus 1, or you can say f at x equals 2x minus 1. This doesn't mean f times x. So just like before, we can substitute values into this formula, x values, and get out y values. Using this notation, it makes it very clear what what's going into the formula, so 2.6 in this case. And as before, we can change the value and generate different y values. So it's the same thing as we just saw, except that we're using a different notation. It's a different way of writing things. Here we have another function. It's made up of points, just like any function. And these points, have coordinates and we can describe these different points using function notation. So g of 1.4 is equal to 1.664. g of 3 is equal to 0. So what this means is that when x is 3 y is 0. We don't even know what the formula is for this function, but we can use function notation to discuss different points about it and describe it. So here are some things you can do with function notation. If f of x is this quadratic function, then f of 0 is 1. If we have two functions f and g, we can write a third function in terms of those two functions. If we have this function and we want to substitute in a variable, we can do that as well. Here we have another quadratic function. We can substitute in an expression. We can define a new function g of x in terms of f of x, like this. Or another function h of x. or another function i of x.
We can also write y equals f of x. 